Hello children. Once again, I welcome you to the ninth class English online classes. I hope that you all are eagerly waiting for the lesson to be completed. As it was a humorous story, you enjoyed a lot the behavior of the author. Isn't it, children? You wanted to know the remaining part also. Okay, children, why late? Let us start. So today we are going to deal with Unit 8. Travel and Tourism, A Reading, The Accidental Tourist, Part 2. Before reading the Part 2, let us recall the summary what we have learned in Part 1. We have known the character of the author he was a very confused person. He felt nervous seeing anything. He used to get wondered when he saw all others doing their work or completing their work very happily. He was always far behind them. He remembers many incidents to prove his nervousness or confusiveness. One of the examples was he, along with his family, went to celebrate Easter for a week. So, over there, while after reaching the airport, and when they were about to check in, he remembers the card which is going to give him the additional points, and that card it was in his carry bag. And he tries to pull the jet so hard that it took minutes to open his back. And with sadness, with angriness, at last he was successful in opening the jet. But the result was all of them shattered on the floor. And it was also a horror thing when he saw his finger bleeding and his wife very angry on him. And he also remember, remembers whenever he goes to the cinema, he looks for lavatory. And after coming back from the lavatory, he used to never sit in his place. Instead of that, he used to stand at the alley to tie his shoes. So all his activities, he was saying how he was defending himself that he is so nervous. He is a confused man. All things happen only to him. All of them doing the happy, happily their work. But he is not trying to change himself. Okay, children? Now, before going to reading part two, let us look at the meanings to the new words glossary. 
which you have to note them in your notebooks. Put in the date and the name of the lesson. Put a place or position. Stupefy. It is a describing word, surprise or shock. And bane, again another describing word, polished and cultured. Bones, moths, clever remarks. Sway, again the describing word, sophisticated or polite. Seismic event, it is the noun phrase, a powerful happening like an earthquake, a sudden event, and which is very powerful, seismic event. Let us move to the remaining part two, the accidental tourist of a reading. On another occasion, I loved a soft drink onto the lap of a sweet little lady sitting beside me. So he's remembering different occasions and letting us know. So he is saying that while traveling in the aeroplane, it happened that he took the soft drink to drink, but Without this knowing only, it fell onto the lap of the sweet little lady sitting beside him. The flight attendant came and cleaned her up and brought me a replacement drink. And instantly I knocked it onto the woman again. So the flight attendant, she came, she cleaned the clothes of the lady who was sitting beside the altar and at the same time she gave him another drink, another glass. But for the second time also, instantly, immediately, instant coffee, immediately you will get that flavor. So instantly, he knocked it onto the woman again. Again, he put for the second time. To this day, I don't know how I did it. He is unable to find out. Okay, first time it is done by a mistake. But for the second time also, immediately he has done, he questions himself, but till today he didn't get any answer for that. I just remember reaching out for the new drink and watching helplessly as my arm, like some cheap prop in one of those 1950s horror movies, with a name like undead limb violently swept the ring from its perch and onto her lap. See the way he supports his action. Okay, he says that he didn't know what has happened, but but at the same time, he is saying that he is supporting his thing like it is like he remembers the horror movie in which in which the arm goes like the undead limb and does all the mischievous things. So, he, he is not thinking that it is his mistake, but he remembers the horror movies like Dr. Lee, his arm 
helpless arm was doing the mischief. The lady looked at me with the stupefied expression. Yes, anyone will get angry. So she too looked at him stupefied expression. She was really shocked. She was surprised. What is this man doing? One time, okay, I can excuse him. But for the second time also, he is doing. So she was surprised. At the same time, she was getting angry. She was shocked. And while traveling, ladies, they usually dress themselves very neatly and travel. Wherever they go, they dress themselves. And on her clothes, they look after their clothes very, very important. They give more importance to their clothes. And when something fell on their clothes, and that too for the second time, she was really surprised, shocked. It happens even with us also. Isn't it, children? Okay, let us continue. You would expect to receive from someone whom you have repeatedly drenched and uttered an old that started, who finished with sake and in between had some words that I have never heard uttered in public before, certainly not by a nun. So anyone will get angry. So, but he is not remembering any of the words. Only the starting word, ho, and the last sake. And in between she uttered a large number of words, but he doesn't remember, he can't even understand, he was that much tensed. So, and he is saying that he didn't listen such a kind of words and that too, not by a nun. Okay? Yes. This, however, was not my worst experience on a plane fly. My worst experience was when I was writing important thoughts in a notebook. And another thing, he is thinking that the previous experience is not the worst one. And there are still more. And what he is saying he is having a habit of writing all the important thoughts in a notebook. Like, what are the important thoughts? Buy socks. Clutch drinks carefully. So these are the important thoughts because he does mistakes over there. So, buying socks, catching hold of the drinks very carefully. So, sucking thoughtfully on the end of my pen. Many will be having while writing with the pen, they will be remembering the answer, what to write. And they have the habit to keep the pen near the mouth. And the author also has the same habit. But, Keeping the pen, he also has the habit of sucking the pen. And when you suck the pen, what will happen, children? Let us see. And fell into conversation with an attractive young lady in the next seat. Our hero is talking with some other lady again. And she is the young lady. Keeping the pen in his mouth and thinking of something and sucking the pen, 
he was talking to the he was conversing with the young lady i amused her for perhaps 20 minutes with a scattering of urban bonds moths so he was amused he was surprised okay for 20 minutes with a scattering of urban urbanist culture bonds moths he was commenting on her bonds moths are comments he was commenting on her clever comments he was doing for about 20 minutes then retired to the laboratory where i discovered that the pen had leaked and that my mouth chin tongue teeth and gum when now a striking scrub resistant navy blue and would remain so for several days and after 20 minutes of conversation talking very politely and culturally and passing the clever uh, comments with the lady he has the habit to go to the lavatory now and then so when he reached he discovered discover the meaning is you all know to find out what is there so he discovered because there will be mirrors in the laboratory so he discovered that all the pen leaking the blue marks were there on his mouth chin tongue teeth and even to the gum where he has to strike a lot and scrub it but it would remain for several days see how happily he is explaining actually when we do like this even a small boy also if he does he will keep an emotion face but here the author explains all the incidents in an humorous way he is indirectly instructing that you grown up children if you behave like this you will be the laughing stock for others not to you enjoy at the same time you should not feel nervous you should not say that i am scared I'm not going to face. No, you should not say. Okay. Now let us move to the next paragraph, children. So you will understand. I trust. He is saying you all will understand. Jenin, you trust me. I'm saying all the truth only. You all know. You will understand. i trust when i tell you how much i need to be a slave slave is for life i always think of being polite but all things happen to me like this i would love just once in my life to rise from a dinner table without looking as if i have just experienced an extremely localized seismic event get in the car and close the door without leaving 14 inches of coat outside we light colored trousers trousers without discovering at the end of the day that i have at various time 
Charton Chivinga. Ice cream, cough syrup, and motor oil. But it is not to be. So here you saying, we, you trust me, I want to be very polite. It takes me a lot. But, but what I have to do? It has become a habit for me that I never got up from the dining table without making a satanic event. Till now he creates the problem. He never got up. Whenever he used to, what do you mean by satanic event, children? A sudden event like an earthquake. So whenever he used to get up from the dining table, how he used to get up? Like as to something powerful bomb or something has fallen over there, he used to get up from the dining table. Disturbing, not only getting disturbed for himself, but also creating a horror, horrible atmosphere to all the others who were dying. And another event he is seeing, get in a, a get in a car and close the door without leaving 14 inches of coat outside. Daily he will get into the car and daily it is habit of closing the door. But till today, like same as the dining table event, till today also his coat, that too it is not thin one, it is 14 inches. Okay, he will leave the coat 14 inches outside. And he likes to wear light colored trousers only. And on the light colored trousers, we see the mask so clearly. And our author, our narrator, he will, without this code, he doesn't even notice what has happened. He will just pull the coat or open the door and take the coat inside. And when we will discover at the end of the day that I have at various times sat on Chivingam, he is so nervous that he will go and sit like that only. So many times he sat on the Chivingam, on ice cream, on calf syrup, and motor oil. But it is not to be, he doesn't like all this. But it is happening with him only. Now, on planes, when the food is delivered, my wife says, take the lips of the food for daddy. Or uh, put your hoods up, children. Daddy is about to cut his knee. So, mother, she will be training her children. So, he says, whenever on the plane, when the food is given for him, when the food is delivered, his wife will instruct the children. Help your daddy in taking the lids off. If they are not willing, okay, put your head hood up. Children, because your father is going to cut the knee, it will definitely come and fall on us. So be careful, children. 
Of course, this is only when I am flying with my family. So this complaint comes from his wife only. He is supporting himself. This happens only when my wife and children are there. Don't know because he will be eating or the woman sitting by, this, by his side may not complain. Don't know what will happen, but he says that only my wife has this type of statements on me. She passes the comments. When I am on my own, ah, now he is giving you the answer. When I am on my own, when I travel alone, I don't eat, I don't drink, or lean over to tie my shoelaces. Whenever he is alone with his family only, he seems so confident. He did all those things. Now he is saying the actual truth is when he is traveling on his own, okay, when he is traveling alone, he will never eat, he will stop drinking, he will stop leaning over there, he will stop trying the shoe, he will never try to tie also the shoelaces. I never put a pen anywhere near my mouth. I just say very, very quietly. Sometimes on my hands to keep them flying out unexpectedly and causing liquid mischief. So he, how he is, he will be sitting children. He will be sitting very, very quietly. And he will be catching his hand because his hands may fly up and unexpectedly do something or other mischief. I think you all are laughing children, listening to my words. It's not much fun, he is saying in the next sentence. It's not much fun. But it does at least cut down on the laundry bills. Okay? I am not speaking all this for you, for the fun sake. I want to minimize my laundry bills. I want to cut down the laundry bills. Now, next paragraph. I never did get my frequent flyer miles by the way. I never do. I couldn't find a card in time. Why did they why he didn't get the points in the frequent flyer mile flyer miles? Because he never carries the card. He never finds the card in time. This has become a real frustration for me. Really, I get a lot of frustration. Everyone I know, everyone is forever flying off to Bali, first class with their aid mind. I never get to collect anything. I must fly 100,000 miles a year. Yet, I have accumulated only about 212 air miles divided between 23 air lines. So here we are, here by this reading this sentence, I must fly 100,000 miles a year. By this sentence, we'll, we come to know that he is a frequent flyer. He, he frequently flies by the aeroplane. But as I forget every time the car, so its points were not noted. At last, how many points were noted? Only about 212. And this also, it was divided between 23 airlines. Now, next children, this is because 
either I forget to ask for the air miles when I check in, or I remember to ask for them, but the airline then manages not to record them. So you forget to ask the air miles, or when he asks also, the airline will not record them. Or the check-in clerk informs me that I'm not entitled to them. So he is blaming on all. First he is saying that I'm forgetting to say how many, how much, uh, how many miles did he travel. Or uh, if at all he says also the people are not recording them. And the third one is saying that the check-in clerk says that you are not entitled to them. In January, on the flight to Australia, a flight for which I was going to get about a million air miles, the clerk shook her head when I presented my card and told me I was not entitled to any. So you may think that I'm blaming the clerk and he is giving the event which occurred when he went to Australia in January and there the clerk, she said that you are not entitled to any. Did the author kept quiet? No. He asked, he raised a question, why? The ticket is in the name of B. Bryson and the card is in the name of W. Bryson. See, a single letter also It is a mistake. We should not do any mistake. A single letter misplaced also, it will not be entitled. So here, here the, the ticket is in the name of B. Bryson, but here his name is W. Bryson. I explained to her the close and the venerable relationship between Bill and William. But she wouldn't have it. B. Bryson is himself only and W. Bryson also is himself. But he puts only one initial. But he tried to explain her but she didn't consider his matter. So I didn't get my air miles and I won't be flying to Bali first class just at. Everyone is getting points and they are traveling in first class. So he didn't get the chance to fly to Bali in the first class. Perhaps just as well, really, I could never go that long without eating. So how can I stop eating? And with this, we end this lesson. I think you all enjoyed children. Now, let us move to the next part. Let us recall the summary by seeing the picture. He always feels nervous. The author will say, person of nervous weakness. Whenever you feel nervous, what you do? You will keep your fingers in your mouth and start biting like this, like this. So, the author was a nervous person. He usually get conscious seeing all the things. How many times he travel also, he gets confused. Always a question marks will be there. A lot of questions will be there in his mind. And he does all the silly things. 
and the mother trained her children to help their father in opening the lid of the tiffin box and while eating also he spills all the food particles on the shirt he is so nervous and he encourages all his characters he feels sympathy on his own character and he says that i want to sit very very quietly all this i want to do is not for your fun sake it is to cut my laundry bills actually i wanted to do all the work forcefully i want to enjoy the work doing many works but i don't know it happens only to me i hope you all have understood okay children now the last part answer the following question Why did the narrator sat very, very quietly? The narrator sat very, very quietly to at least cut down on the laundry bills. I forgot the words, children. Why did the narrator sit very, very quietly? Again, I repeat, the narrator sat very, very quietly to at least cut down on the laundry bills. What did the narrator's wife say to the children? Take the lids off the foot for daddy. The narrator's wife said so to the children because. she knows that her husband gets easily confused she had a lot of experience she trains her children to help their father in confusion he will spill all the food and drinks all around again it will be a lot of work to her so before only she instructs the children now did the narrator do all the awkward things intentionally or accidentally give reasons the narrator did all those things accidentally so for that the reason she tried to sit calmly he tries very hard to avoid all the awkward things to happen he failed all the time what did you learn from this lesson every lesson you have to improve your thinking style children your thoughts will change you change your personality so in this lesson what you have learned i have learned that i should avoid the feeling of nervousness in me i should do the things very perfectly i should maintain my prestige i should not become a laughing stock for all i should avoid saying the silly reason to support my feelings i should understand to change my thoughts and improve my personality isn't it children okay with this we end our session children thank you bye bye children